What is Web3? An example. Presented by Zero to ProTraining.com. Presented by Zero to ProTraining.com. In this video, we will talk about an example of a Web3 world. You have in a mood to watch a movie and grab something to eat afterwards. You like to watch an action movie and have an Italian food for dinner. You turn on your laptop and open a web browser. You go to the Google page and perform a search for movie theaters, movies, and restaurants. You find out which are good actions movies to watch. Also, which movie theaters are playing those movies. You spend time reviewing descriptions of the films before deciding on your choice. Also, you do your research on which Italian restaurants are there near the movie theaters. You also check the reviews of the places. You may have visited about 20 sites in total before you are ready to head out. And may have spent half an hour doing the planning. This is how things work today in a Web2 world. Experts believe that the next generation of the Web, called Web3, will change how things work. Web3 will make search tasks faster and easier. And, on top of that, it will make searches more personalized. In a Web3 world, instead of performing multiple searches, you would simply type a complex sentence or two, and the Web3 browser will do the rest. In this example, you could enter, I want to watch an action movie, and then, want to have a dinner, at an Italian restaurant. The Web3 browser will display results for you. Web3 browser will act as a personal assistant. As you use the browser, to perform searches, it learns your interests. The more you use it, the more it learns about you. With time, you can be less specific with your questions. Eventually, you will be able to ask open questions. For example, where should I go for the evening? The browser would analyze the database for your likes and dislikes, consider your current location, and then provide its suggestions. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit zero to protraining.com.